Hello lads and ladies, you've probably seen my last video where I made the shit covered pigeon um, plane. What if, uh, whatever I called uh, the end of the video. Um, what we're going to be doing this time, we're going to be putting, putting an image inside of, I mean on the livery of the plane. So here is my beautiful plane. If you don't like it, then fuck off. Um, else, if you like it, then let's, call you, let's keep doing the tutorial. So we're going to go back to texture paint. I assume you've already familiarized it yourself with it because, you know, to make a something, I mean, to paint something, you have to um, probably do some extra research <laughs> over my video. But what we're going to be doing now, we're going to be putting an image on our wing here, an insignia. So how are we going to do that, you might ask? So you want to go to Tall, which is in the corner here. If you can't see this, it probably looks something like, give me a second. Actually, I don't know how to hide this. But you'll probably see a few buttons up here. Click the one that says tall, scroll down. Open the thing that says texture. And just click new. Now, you see you see this checkerboard pattern? Click on that. And this is where you click open to open your image. So you find your image. So let me just get my image. Um, what do I want on my plane? This is a really hard one, you know. This is what I want on my plane. Okay. Um, actually, no, that's not what I want on my plane. <laughs> I was meant to put an insignia on, but damn it. Give me a second. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. So if I just select that on here. No, I'm gonna just. You see this mapping? You wanna click view plane. You wanna change that view plane to stencil. Now this will appear on your screen. You may ask, what the fuck is this? So basically the idea of this is uh, that you can, you know that? That you can stencil it on your plane. You may be asking, how do I use this stencil? Well, it's not hard at all. What you wanna do is to scale it, you can hold shift, right click, and it scales it like um, this kind of size but if it's something that needs to be widened or thinned you can either do it here in size X, Y or Z or you can just hold shift, right click and then click X or Y but I'm gonna keep mine and its original scale so let's just reset the transform um, so we have our I'm sticking it here so let's make it smaller if I want to rotate it, I can hold control, right click, and this will let me rotate it. So let me just get a bit closer, let me make it a bit bigger. Okay, I like it here, so I'm going to just decrease my radius so it's more satisfying, because I can just paint it over like this. So you see I have painted it onto the plane. It's now part of the texture over here. So I see it's spanning multiple things here. I can do the same to the other side. So if I just head over here, if I okay, I was just checking where I put it. I put it after the second pylon. Okay, I'm just gonna resize that, gonna position it wherever I want, and I'm just gonna paint over it. Yay! <laughs> so, so here we have the um, two logos. Basically, I already explained everything about this you need to know, so I don't know why you're still watching. Uh, you should have probably quit like five seconds ago. You'll keep watching me do this though, uh, because you, you like my content. <laughs> I like telling lies to myself. Um, but I'm sorry for the rushed out tutorials. I just did this so people who wanted to get on it quick then, um, can then. Um, that is done. So we can follow my exact steps earlier on changing it into VTOL 3R. This is not a finished livery. I want to actually make a proper livery with this. It's basically, it's almost finished with it now, but I need to mirror this to the other side, which is not that hard. I'm not going to explain this tutorial. That is the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Like, like the video. Just like the video. Goodbye. <laughs>